I joined the military halfway through my senior year of high school, wanting to serve my country. The Coast Guard said that they could get me in within a month, so it shipped me off. I loved that I could keep up with the guys and work as hard as they did. The professionalism, the camaraderie. Getting out there and giving it my all. That's what I chose to do. Everything changed the day that I was raped. I've never seen trauma like I've seen from veterans who have suffered military sexual trauma. This goes everywhere with me. You always have protection with Jesus, but sometimes you need just a little bit more. Most Americans assume there is access to a system of justice. You'd see a guy get five years for drugs and two weeks for rape. They let this man get away with everything but murder. They gave him Military Professional of the Year Award during the rape investigation. It was a laughing matter. He says, you're the third girl to report rape this week. You guys like all in cahoots? You think this is a game? About half a million women have now been sexually assaulted in the U.S. military. Civilians see it as being a military problem. Anybody can be a victim of sexual assault. Rapists are repetitive criminals. Why would they stop? They go on to literally prey on women and men, girls and boys in our neighborhoods back home. It's very difficult to do a story on the most powerful institution in the world. The Department of Defense has a history of covering up sexual offense problems. I don't know who you think elected you to defy the Congress of the United States. What is it you're trying to hide?